Hi, it's Richard from Original Outdoors. This is our three minute review of the Mountain Equipment Firefly sleeping bag. Right, start the clock. So I've been using this uh, for about two months. This has been my main sleeping bag, sleeping sack thing. It's, well, it's part of this range that Mountain Equipment has. They've been, for the last couple of years, they've been redeveloping their sleeping bag range, particularly their down sleeping bag range in terms of the design and how they qualify what is a comfortable night's sleep and a few other things like that. So this is the quick rundown to go with the longer review, which is on ukclimbing.com and ukhillwalking.com. Let's start off with this. This is the dry bag stuff sack that comes with it it's slightly uncompressed it will actually compress down a little bit more a little bit smaller than my head by the time it's all compressed down it is a proper dry bag it's waterproof so you don't have to worry too much about moisture getting in there and it doesn't weigh very much we're talking about 630 grams for this review sample which was the extra long the long length one because well i'm quite tall as is absolutely perfect as I'm starting this review video, it's starting to rain. So let's go through what is inside that dry bag. You've got a three quarter length zip, which doesn't snag and it runs quite happily and freely. You have box wall construction with slanted baffles inside. That means you don't get cold spots where there's a seam from one side of the bag to the other. The whole fabric is this plasma 10D, not quite ripstop, not quite pertex, but very breathable, but quite tough fabric. The down isn't hydrophobic. It hasn't been treated in any way, as far as I know. So you really want to avoid moisture. Yep, the toe box is anatomically constructed, so it's not a weird shape and bending your feet down or being squished in weird ways. At the hood end, plenty of room. I can fit my massive head in there with room to spare. There's a draw cord that pulls it right down over your face. And there's this elasticated system that runs across the torso on the front half, which constricts the bag against your body so that you've got, well, you've got plenty of loft, plenty of insulation, but you don't have any baggy areas that you need to heat up with your body before you'll feel warm in the bag. It hasn't got anything fancy, like a little pocket in here to put your head torch in, or an extra baffle on the neck. It really is no frills. There isn't even any hanging things at the end so you can hang it up to dry. So that's about all you're getting with this bag. And it's 360 pounds, which, well, let's face it, isn't cheap. But Mountain Equipment is a brand I've used for years. They're not paying me anything to say this. And I trust them. I have used their equipment in mountain rescue and on expeditions on, in my own work. So I know I can trust it. And as is always the way with these things, when you want to buy something lightweight, sometimes you have to, have to actually pay more.